Your strength doesn't even come close to mine. <laughs> Don't you get it? We're from the same school of martial arts. <laughs> Chikung feeds on strength and gets stronger and stronger. Hey guys, welcome back to The Poor Investor. So today we're going through what would you do with $500 to $1,000? Would you buy XCH, invest in hardware to farm XCH, or go the simple route of buying Evergreen Miners? Let's go a little deeper into what would you do between $500 to $1,000? So right now, the current price of XCH is $29 and it has finally went down below that $30 mark. And I'm pretty sure people are just liquidating and selling off their xch to get some money for the holidays so they can buy some gifts for their loved ones usually in this crypto bearish market i noticed like in you know just in the stock market and and everything else during the holidays is when people start liquidating because they need you know some extra funds to buy some gifts the trend for xch right now with chia and the price being as low it is as it is would it be more beneficial to just buy it with a thousand dollars right i mean that would give you a decent amount just make sure you don't leave it on an exchange you know keep it off to a cold wallet install the application and then you know download it and set it forget it make sure you have your keys so that's an option for you right so let's go over what am i talking about and this was based off a reddit post is it worth getting into chia mining with 500 to a thousand dollars and to be really honest everyone started chiming in they were like yeah you learned a lot you can um, definitely buy some used, you know, JBOTs like right here, 12 J JBOT, 12 uh, Bay JBOT, and you will earn this amount. And it really depends on your electricity cost. So many factors. And if you're looking at it from a perspective of trying to get into mining, well, he says mining, farming Chia, let's just say, let's put it at a thousand dollars. You're not going to be netting anything. And it may be a really long time with a thousand dollars to even break even. So you can probably scratch that off. I'm not saying that you can't, but the price definitely has to go above this $29. Now, if you were really into buying hardware and wanting to actually get into Chia, JBuy prices with the full setup, meaning coming with the caddies or, you know, dual power supplies, motherboard, RAM, and all that good stuff, you know, they can add up. You know, some sellers are selling it pretty, pretty reasonably. And I, I found one or two and I already clicked on it. So this one is $349. It's a 3U, a Super Micro 16 Bay SAS. It has everything. It's already operational. So it says tested to post, power on self-test, read CPU and RAM. So all that's included on this setup. You could go with the 4U which is a 40 bay server JBODs for $649. Now, remember, we, we said that we're going to go into the $1,000 range, and this is already $650. This is free local pickup from Texas, so I'm sure he's probably adding a shipping cost to this. So right here, they're adding a shipping cost depending on your zip code. So this alone, no hard drives. From my understanding, this one has no hard drives. Yeah, it can easily, uh, you know, put you around this probably a 750 range, almost $800 if the shipping, depending on where it's being shipped to from Texas. Or you can go the lower route, the cheaper route, the $350. And this one has a shipping of $90. So that's already putting you at like half of your whatever your initial $1,000 that you wanted to put into this right so that's just the storage portion of it the enclosure the server and then you have to look for hard drives now the most reasonable and what i found so far these 10 terabytes right here the sas they're 89 dollars 95 and free shipping not too bad he has 74 of them available you probably can find better deals on ebay but more or less this one is probably one of the cheapest that i have seen so far you can probably just scroll down you got like 10 terabyte sas for 79 dollars. so they are going down a little bit more i'm not sure what this uh 3.5 helium hdd see i don't know what that is is that a brand uh, never heard of that one before. Same day shipping, full warranty. I'm not sure what the warranties are, but mind you, you know, they're, they're running for $79. This one is free shipping. Let's just say it's $80, right? Even if you purchased this one right here, this 24 bay for $255, this is just a bid amount. This is not even the purchasing. So you don't know what you would be paying when you actually win this one. But there's so many factors, right? So once you get this, now, mind you, these JBODs, 
would probably not be really efficient in plotting the actual plots for farming chia. So what would you do then? Do you have something existing on a primary machine that you use that you can actually utilize to plot? Because you're, I mean, anyone who's getting into chia at this point, I can probably confidently say that you have a machine that's decent enough to do certain things, right? Uh, whether you can plot on it or not is a different story. Maybe you will have to buy additional plotting equipment such as, you know, SSDs or NVMEs or more memory, whatever the case. But $1,000? It's probably not going to get you a lot of XCH if you get into the hardware side of buying equipment for it, unless you have most of it or half of it, then maybe it'll make a difference. But the whole point is, would you use your thousand dollars to buy XCH directly right now with the price being twenty nine dollars and sixty nine cents? Love it, right? Sixty nine. What would you do? Comment. What would you do if you had a thousand dollars and you did not start farming XCH? and you just wanted to get into it now, would you just buy the Chia XCH straight out? $1,000, that'll net you a decent amount. What, what is that? 1,000 divided by 29, 69, let's 33 XCH. Now I know if you had to farm X, that many XCH, it would take a while because I've been doing this for an entire year and I only have maybe around 40. Over a year now, it's been more than a year and it's been, and I spent a decent amount. Uh, of course, the prices were a lot more in, in the past and right now it's, you know, $1,000 can get you 33 XCH. What would you do? Comment below, let me know. I thank you guys for being here. I know I will be making more videos on Chia, just in general, very uh, kindergarten basic level, should we get into it? And if we do get into it, my next video will probably be, I'll be buying some additional equipment. I'm being serious now. I'm buying additional equipment just to start off XCH as if I was a newbie. I'll still be farming my existing stuff, but I will be buying a new equipment because I have all these extra parts laying around. I just want to build up another machine. Hey, it is what it is. I want to thank you guys for being here. Please remember to hit that like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.